Another point when it comes to the charity is the relationship that we should have between the one we are giving charity to. Because sometimes, alhamdulillah, the means of charity are very plentiful in our day and age. And there's a lot of projects and a lot of avenues that we can spend our wealth. But sometimes we tend to give and we continue with our lives and we have no relationship whatsoever, whatsoever with those who, who we are spending on. And this is contrary to the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sunnah of the Sahaba who used to actually be involved with those that they were spending on like Abu Bakr as siddiq radiallahu anhu and Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu who used to not eat a meal except that he would have a poor person with him sharing from his plate. Why sharing from his plate? So that they can interact and talk and build their relationship and get to know one another and increase the mahabba and the love for each other. And so charity in Islam is not just about spending the wealth, but rather about strengthening the community between the Muslims. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the opportunity to spend more from our wealth in this blessed month and to increase the love that we should have for one another as a Muslim Ummah.